Nick Gardenia, a writer, has the use of a friend's oceanside cabin. He is interrupted by a pair of bank robbers who use him to rob a bank in Carmel. Unfortunately for Nick, he trips in the bank, is helped up and looks directly into us. The bank's picture of Nick comes to the attention of Los Angeles District Attorney Ira Parks when his assistant, Fred, recognizes it to be Parks' wife's ex-husband. Ira's wife, Glenda, a public defender, often tries to rehabilitate her clients by giving them odd jobs around their house. The robbers ditch Nick and he desperately begins to make his way to Glenda and Ira's Brentwood home, inadvertently holding up a gas station attendant for candy bars along the way. Glenda, finds Nick hiding in her garage, who begs for help and she tries to get him some food, while most of the leaders of law enforcement being in her house. Nick explains what happened, but Glenda refuses to help unless he turns himself in, but Glenda finally agrees to let him sleep in a guest room over the garage. Ira soon discovers Nick was telling the truth about the two men who forced him to rob the bank. About to have the governor of California coming to the house for dinner, Glenda must deal with court cases, her maid having foot surgery. The party takes a hilarious turn when Nick, coming back to turn himself in, ends up serving dinner to the governor, Ira, Glenda, and Fred. Nick, Glenda, Ira, Aurora, end up in the courtroom of Glenda's favorite judge. The police bring in the bank robbers, and they admit Nick's innocence in exchange for a reduced sentence after getting caught by Aurora and the dogs. After all is said and done, Nick is free, but he and Glenda still have unresolved feelings and she decides to stay with Ira and kisses Nick goodbye. Ira and Glenda decide to take a car trip, and they have an accident, so Glenda has to go for help, and she ends up at Nick's cabin.